Hey everyone, and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're gonna tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. Now, if you don't wanna watch the entire video, you can always skip to the part that you want by utilizing the timestamps below. Well, the time for hell is closing in. As you know, Hell the Last Saga is our newest survival horror narrative game. Now, if you've joined our secret Facebook group, you've been able to glimpse some of the playable survivors. Now, we know that you are eagerly awaiting more information on when Hell will be coming to Kickstarter. And guess what the date is? Finally here. Hell the Last Saga launches on Kickstarter May 12th, 2020 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now stay tuned because tomorrow I'll be doing a live chat and presentation for the game at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you tune in. Moving on to Time of Legends Joan of Arc, the rule book is still under development. We are at the final stage of adding and modifying information on the French version and the English version is now being proofread. We expect that next week we'll be able to show you a new works in progress file. Now, we understand that you're always eager to see the rules of the game, and we appreciate all of your help and feedback in proofreading. We are taking the time necessary to provide you with as final a copy as possible, so bear with us and stay tuned. Moving on to Solomon Cain, last week we showed you the Solomon Cain rulebook. We've gathered all of the feedback that you sent to us through messages and emails and Kickstarter comments. We've assessed and incorporated it both in the English and French versions of the rulebooks. We want to sincerely thank you for all the time that you took to read it and send comments. We certainly appreciate it. But today, we're here to share something different. And that is images of the Solomon Kane prototype. Now, as we mentioned last week, we know that you want to see the physical product for this game. However, printing is still quite a few What's Up Wednesdays away, and it will take some time uh, at the factory to send from China the pre-production copies. So, we asked a local publisher to print the components so that we can show them to you. And until now, we've shown you the miniatures of the game, so now it's time for you to also take a look at the printed components. So, here it goes.
what do you think? <laughs> the aesthetics of the game is in a quite different direction than some of our other titles, uh, but we think that it's cleaner and more minimalistic. And we hope you like it as much as we do. So let us know in the comments below what you think. Moving on to Rikebusters, this past week has been filled with working on preparing more files for you. However, we won't be posting a new link today as we would prefer to hold back and post everything at once rather than posting new links with content every a couple of days. So one of the new things that we are working on currently is an FAQ that will solve any re rules questions that you might have. With regards to shipping, the situation still remains the same in all of the closed areas. We are expecting movement in some areas starting next week and moving forward. As soon as we have any new information on the topic, rest assured that we will be letting you know. Today, in Enchanter's East Quest, we're going to present you with the Geisha. The Banzai Court is where diplomacy happens. Tea ceremonies, musical spectacles, negotiation talks, and poisonings. Sadly, there is a lot of poisoning going on. The Geisha set gives players a unique opportunity to avoid negative immediate effects from taking a card. This is essential to getting points from monsters in this set. Now next week we'll be talking about the final kingdom from the East Quest expansion, the Nagas. As you know, today is the last day of the Pledge Manager, and we have received several emails and messages with questions and this is why we posted on Friday the FAQ with clarifications. We have decided, however, to keep the pledge manager open for one more week to give you all the time to finalize your pledges. We saw that you had several questions, which we hope we addressed, and now you should have enough time to complete your pledges. So the final date for the Enchanter's Pledge Manager is May 6th, 2020. For Steam Watchers, we're still tuning lots of little things here and there with the team, which counts one more member now, Jean-Baptiste, aka JB, who you might have seen on the Beasts of War and or Trick Check videos. The content of the core box seems settled, save for a handful of scenarios we need to test out a few more times. We're quite confident it will be well adjusted with testing to ensure everything feels fun, fair, and balanced. And now we're moving on to expansion redesign and adjustments. So let's discuss the first two. Peace with Wolves has always been in a good place to start with as Mark brought the game to Mythic with the two uh, modules, Vassal Clan and Diplomacy module. And the design felt very clean from day one. Now we've made adjustments with the Vassal Clan module, which is tailored to two to three player games with a map using all of the clans. Numerous and continual adjustments made the wording of that module clunky, and we had to simply give it a rewrite. Fuel for War has required more work and is still in development, but is slowly reaching a nice state. Let me remind you that this expansion has uh, you start with a leader in the conclave phase who can accrue power by staying there or they can unleash the their fury on the battlefield. And what we're looking into right now is developing better sets of leader equipment for each clan. We have several constraints in so doing. Uh, each clan has a set of three equipment cards, plus three generic ones. So the clan equipment should feel overall enticing and flavorful. But we don't want to push a clan in a single direction, and choices should be the most important thing. Which equipment you choose for your leader is going to drive your behavior. Ultimately, we want to give a dilemma to the players, with some equipment being better on the conclave rather than on the battlefield. Now, on a closing note, the Pledge Manager and Late Pledge for Steam Watchers ends on May 29th, exactly one month from today. So save the date, but most importantly, complete your pledge beforehand. Take care, Watchers. And that's it for this week, folks. Stay home, stay safe, play some games, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>